Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reason How To, and today, screwdrivers are out, sides off the PC. That can mean possibly only one thing. Yep, we're going to be flashing the BIOS on our graphics card. Now, this is going to be a useful video if you're suffering from the dreaded AMD Error 43, or you've got graphical corruption on your graphics card, which could be caused by a corrupt or a modified BIOS. So keep watching to find out how we fix it. Okay, so massive disclaimer. This is a BIOS modification video or BIOS flashing video. Anything seen in this video can possibly damage your hardware more than it is already. So obviously take this information, digest it, watch it again before you do anything. If you're not sure, stop. Don't do anything. Watch another video, take it to a professional or whatever. But that is my disclaimer. This could completely brick your graphics card. Okay, that's that out of the way, so let's get on with this. Now, in this PC behind me, regular viewers of the show or program or channel, however you want to put it, will have known that I've got a Radeon PowerColor RX 580, four gigabyte, which has been in there and had problems before with the fans. The fans were really bad, really noisy. One of them actually died. I'm pretty sure this card was used as a mining card in its history. I picked it up really cheap, so I'm not really that bothered. But the weird thing about it is, on this graphics card, there's a BIOS switch. Now, the standard switch works absolutely fine. Switch it to position two, which from what I can tell from the limited documentation from the power color site is a slight OC BIOS. So it's about 10% or 10 megahertz or something. Again, the documentation is really poor, but basically it's an OC boost. Now, when I switch it to OC boost after a reboot, I get some really weird graphical corruption, which uh, you'll be seeing. I've had a few questions on a previous video of how to install AMD drivers, which you can check out up over here. And in a lot of cases, that video's fixed most problems, but it hasn't fixed my problem and it hasn't fixed some other people's problems, especially when you get the dreaded error 43 or some other weird graphical corruption, which just cannot be remedied by reinstalling Windows or sorting out your drivers. So. This means a more hands-on approach and getting some new BIOS or the original BIOS and reflashing it to your card. So first of all, let's show you what I mean by the uh, dodgy graphics. So I'm gonna try and record this in OBS. It may or may not work, so I might just angle the camera at it so you can actually see what it's doing. But it's a very, very strange graphical corruption, which you may well be experiencing as well. So let's check it out. So there we go, there is the screen as it's supposed to look. So everything looks fine. And that is with the BIOS switch set to position number one. So I'm going to turn the switch across now and reboot Windows so you can see what it is like. So already you can see it there. It's even in the BIOS screen, it's really corrupted. And it looks like there's kind of three screen, maybe three, two or three screens overlaid. You can see there's three lots of the cursor waiting thing there. And it just looks really, really odd. You can't do anything with it and there's all sorts of corruption going on. It's very difficult to see what you're doing. Actually, I'll try and put the uh, the password in. And as you can see, that is essentially pretty much unusable. So what we're gonna do is go to uh, Tech Power Up and go to their VGA BIOS collection. We're gonna download the latest BIOS and we're gonna flash it to the system. Okay, so let's take a look at this uh, Tech Power Up. So what we'll do is to get your BIOS, first of all, is to download it from Tech Power Up. So you type in Tech Power Up, a GPU database, but we don't we want the BIOS database. So, so it's the VGA BIOS collection at Tech Power Up. And I'll be putting links in the video description at the bottom after, so you can check this out for yourself. So the first thing you want to do is the flashing utility for your particular card. So in this instance, because it's an AMD card, let's get the ATI stroke AMD one. And this is the ATI Flash 2.87, which is the latest as of February 28th, 2019. So let's go ahead and download that. And we'll download it from the UK because, well, we're in the UK. I'm gonna save all this to the desktop just so it's easier to get hold of. So that's that, that's downloading. So let's go back to the other window and now what we'll do is we need to find our BIOS. So if we go for AMD, then go for our vendor. Now our vendor is, uh, 
to remember now. Power color, that was the one, power color. And it is a RX 580, it's the four gig version. They didn't actually do a great deal, surprisingly. Uh, so this memory type is GDDR. It's a PCI Express, you don't have to do all this. Memory size, now mine's a four gig model, which is a slightly unusual one. Most of them were eight gig models. And luckily for me, because it's the eight, uh, four gig model, there's only actually one BIOS, which was the Red Dragon version, which luckily is the card that we've got. So that makes it super, super easy. But if for any reason you're not sure, or there's a lot of BIOSes available, make sure you check out that you've got the exact right one. If you're not sure, feel free to post on the comment section below and or you can go onto our Discord server, send a picture of the serial number and all that kind of stuff, and we can try and work out which is the best uh, the best BIOS for your particular card. So anyway, that is the only one that's available, so let's go ahead and download that. And again, we'll save that to the desktop. So we can minimize all our windows. So if we go onto the desktop now, there's our power color ROM file and there is our ATI flash software. So we'll extract that to the ATI flash, giving us a new folder. And in this folder now, we have got the executable file. And we wanna use the Windows version because we're actually in Windows. You can do this actually from a, uh, a DOS prompt or from a command prompt, but I'm gonna do it the Windows version. So right click and choose run as administrator. Ideally you want administrator privileges to run this. I think it will actually try and run without it. Uh, but you're better off using the administrator privileges if at all possible. So this opens up the main window. So it's actually detected an active device, which is the RX 580 series, and it's given a device ID. And it tells you the type of cards, a Polaris 20, XTX A1, GDR, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. So the best thing to do actually is to save the current BIOS before you do anything. So let's click on save. And we'll, again, we'll save it to the desktop and we'll call it, actually BIOS.ROM is absolutely fine. We can leave it as that. Save to desktop. So the ROM image has been saved to a file and we've now got the old BIOS. So should anything go wrong, we can revert to the old BIOS, which at least we know partially works. So now what we do is we can load an image. So click on load image and then click on the desktop and we want to find our original power color ROM, which is this one here. So click open. And now what we can do is cross our fingers and click on program. Now this could take a little while. Hopefully it shouldn't do. So now it's going ahead and erasing the old BIOS and it's now programming the new VGA BIOS. And there we go, our VBIOS was programmed successfully. So we can click OK, and you have to reboot before the system will take effect. And we don't want to at the moment, so we'll close that down, close all our windows, and stop our recording from OBS. And now what we can do is, what I'll do is I'll just do a quick restart, a normal restart, just to make sure that it actually will boot back up in the working BIOS mode, then what we'll do is make sure the BIOS is taken and then we can go across and then try the enhanced BIOS or the OC BIOS to see if we've had any improvements there. So we've got display, we're booting into the BIOS, everything is looking good so far. And there we go, we're back into Windows. We'll just quickly check uh, device manager Make sure we haven't got any problems in the VGA side of things, but we haven't, no. So this device is working properly, which you may not be able to see, but it is working properly. So only thing we can do now is to see if the enhanced BIOS works. So let's shut down the PC completely. And we'll set things back up. Okay, so we're back and uh, I've got to switch the BIOS across and then start the PC up. But I thought I'd do that so you can see me doing it and also see what the screen's like when it comes back on. And fingers crossed it's going to work. If it doesn't work, it's not the end of the world. We can still use the original BIOS on the switch on the card. 
and it still works, it doesn't cause any problems, but it would be nice just to resolve that graphical issue. So here we go, fingers crossed. And you will get to see at the same time as me whether things have worked out right. And actually, I'm just gonna look in the reflection on the, uh, of the camera and see what I can see in the background. Ah, oh, damn it. No, we've still got that graphical corruption. So it could possibly be, actually, that, is, that actually looks worse than it was previously. No, it's, uh, it's still not doing what it should do. So what I'm gonna try and do now is I'm gonna actually try and flash the BIOS with it in this particular overclock mode to see if that makes any difference at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that. It's really difficult for me to see the screen as it is, let alone you guys see it. So I'm gonna try and do that now, and then we're gonna reboot and see if it cures it. So I'll be right back. Okay, so that turned out to be a complete failure. So putting the switch into BIOS section two and trying to read the BIOS worked. We managed to save the BIOS, so I'm gonna take that and have a look into the BIOS, see actually what settings have been changed and why it's so badly corrupted. I'm pretty sure this is an X mining card, so I'm looking at maybe there's some sort of voltage tweaks going on there or something's happened to get the hash rate up, but obviously it's uh, destroyed the display output. So we still got the first BIOS version working, which is absolutely great. So we haven't killed the card and we haven't made it any better. So, but at least we know where we're looking now to so try and rectify the BIOS. Maybe we can get a, uh, another modified BIOS or modify the BIOS slightly to get version two working for the overclock. But saying that we can always use the uh, AMD tools to overclock the graphics card manually or MSI afterburner, all that kind of stuff. So it's not the end of the world. Would have been nice to have fixed it, but again, not the end of the world. But hopefully, if you try this for yourself, because you've got a problem with your graphics card, with either the AMD Code 43, or you're getting some sort of, some sort of graphical corruption, or your graphics card's just not doing what it's supposed to do, it's definitely worth trying the BIOS flash as a last resort, just in case. It's certainly a save you throwing a graphics card in the trash unnecessarily. And to be honest with you, a lot of these mining cards have been modified in some way, so this is sometimes a good way of restoring the balance. So. I've been Mike, this is Mike's unboxing reviews and how to. This has been not really, but possibly how to restore your graphics card to its former glory. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.